So now let's try using all this information to graph our own rational function. Here we're told to graph y is equal to 3x plus 12 all over x minus 2. And the first step to graphing this is to try to find all of our asymptotes. To find our vertical asymptote, well we know those come from when our domain is restricted. Our domain is restricted when our denominator is equal to 0, which means x minus 2 cannot equal 0. Now if I solve this inequality and I add 2 to both sides, I'll get x cannot equal 2. Which means that my vertical asymptote is the line x is equal to 2. So if I draw this asymptote, it should look something like that. Now let's try to find out if we have any horizontal asymptotes. The degree of my numerator is 1, and the degree of my denominator is 1. So since they're equal, my horizontal asymptote lies at the ratio of my leading coefficients, or y is equal to a over b. Well, my a is 3, and my b is 1. So my horizontal asymptote is the line y is equal to 3. And I can draw that in. And it should look something like that. Now that I've found all my asymptotes, I'm going to have to make a table of values to figure out where my graph is going to lie in relation to these asymptotes. Now to create this table, I'm going to have to select several x values, plug them into this equation, and solve for y. The x values that I'm going to choose are going to be 6, 4, 3, 1, 0, and negative 1. Now let's plug all these in. We'll start with 6 for x. If I do that, I'll have y is equal to 3 times 6 plus 12 all over 6 minus 2. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 12, and you'll have 30. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 30 divided by 4 is 7.5, or 7 and 1 half. Next we plug in 4 for x, so we'll have y is equal to 3 times 4 plus 12 all over 4 minus 2. Now 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 12 is 24. 4 minus 2 is 2. So when x is 4, our y value is 12. Next we plug in 3 for x. We'll get y is equal to 3 times 3 plus 12 all over 3 minus 2. Now 3 times 3 is 9 plus 12 is 21. 3 minus 2 is 1. So when x is 3, our y is 21. Next I'm going to plug in 1 for x. I'll have y is equal to 3 times 1 plus 12 all over 1 minus 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 12 is 15. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So when x is 1, our y is negative 15. Now I'm going to plug in 0 for x, so I'll have y is equal to 3 times 0 plus 12 all over 0 minus 2. 3 times 0 is 0, add 12, and you just have 12. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. Lastly, I plug in negative 1 for x, so I'll have y is equal to 3 times negative 1 plus 12 all over negative 1 minus 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Add 12 to negative 3 and you'll get 9. Negative 1 minus 2 is a minus 3, and 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So let's try plotting these points. 
We have 6 and 7.5. Should be right there. 4 and 12. Well, that's off our graph. It'd be about there. And 3 and 21. Well, that's way off our graph. So I can't plot that point. But I know that my graph is heading in that direction as it gets closer to the asymptote. Now 1 and negative 15 is off our graph again, but 0 and negative 6 is right here, and negative 1, negative 3 is right there. Now because 1 and negative 15 is off our graph, we know that this is getting very large as it approaches this asymptote again. So I can connect these with a smooth curve, and our graph should look something like that. Notice that we're approaching our asymptotes on each side, and this kind of looks like a reciprocal function. So now that we've graphed this rational function, we have completed the tutorial on graphs of rational functions.